It's okay to succumb to your cravings. I'm a huge believer that your body's cravings tell you what it needs, and of course, it's not good to develop bad habits of opening up a bag of hot Cheetos in the middle of the night, falling asleep with sticky bright red fingers in bed, uh, <clears throat> coming from personal experience after a bad breakup, but it happens, and that's okay. We've all heard this before, but the first step to having a healthy relationship with food is uncategorizing good versus bad food. Like all things in life, everything is a balance, and there's no reason to feel guilty. I used to look at food as numbers, and it sucked. It even got to a point where I I stopped hanging out with friends for the fear of not being able to weigh the food in restaurants. But food should not be measured in quantitative energy, but qualitatively in how it affects our body. You can also train your body to start craving healthier, nutritionally balanced food, incorporate seasonal and local produce, and you'll find yourself really craving food that's both good for your soul and body, like the shabu shabu. Ew, I sound way too eat, pray, lovey-dovey, but the point is, 